Would you like to know seven ways to lower your creatinine levels really fast? I've got it coming right up. Creatinine is a waste byproduct that floats around in your blood and for the most part it's generated by your muscles. Now a healthy kidney takes care of all the extra creatinine and lets you pee it right out. But those of us with lower functioning kidneys, it can build up. And if it builds up too high, it's extremely dangerous. So let's take a look at seven ways, most of them are natural, that you can quickly lower your creatinine levels. First, and this one's not that hard, <laughs> cut down on vigorous exercise. No heavy weight lifting, no running really fast, no big old marathons. Take it easy. Keep your, you know, when you are exercising, keep your heart rate between 100 beats per minute, 120 beats per minute. You know, brisk walking, swimming, aerobics, things like that are great, but nothing vigorous. Now, the good thing is, if you do do vigorous exercise, your creatinine levels are only high for about two to three days, and then they'll return back to where they were before. Number two, and probably no one out there is doing this, but do not take supplements that have creatinine in them, or creatine, and then that becomes creatinine when you put it in your body. A lot of muscle builders, bodybuilders, they take it as a supplement because it helps them get bigger faster. If you're doing that, you gotta stop it because your kidney is not getting rid of the excess and it's building up your blood and that can become dangerous. Number three, reduce your protein intake. Now you could go all vegan, go all vegetarian, you don't have to do that. But eating red meat, eating dairy products, all those will increase your creatinine floating around in your blood. Now it is temporary, but your kidneys got to work to bring them back down. It's putting a lot of stress on there. The more vegan or the more vegetarian you eat, the better. What I like to do is, you know, stick with things that are like chicken instead of red meat. And a lot of times I will use a vegan chicken patty. And that just goes great with my body. It's easy to digest and it does not increase your creatinine levels. And that helps you bringing them down. Number four, eat more fiber. Pick foods that are higher in fiber. Add more apples to your diet or this is a little cheap, but it works great. Benefiber. I add this. It's the healthy shape version, which has even more fiber. I add this to every single thing that I eat. It does not change the texture. It does not change the flavor. You can even mix this in water and you don't even know it's there. And you can get an extra four, five, six, eight grams of fiber per meal. Now your goal should be 30 to 35 grams of fiber a day. More is nice. Number five, drink more water. Yep, it's that easy. And this actually is probably the fastest lowering you're going to get and the easiest thing to do. You need to take your current body weight, divide it in half, and drink that many ounces of water a day. I know, it's a lot of water. You'll get used to it. It'll take you about a month, month and a half. I've got a video that'll help you if you have trouble drinking more water. Found a fantastic, super affordable little additive. They've got them at Walmart. You can add that to the water. Lots of flavors, make it taste great. Make it really easy to get all the water you need every day. Your kidneys need the water. Remember, your kidneys are removing all the toxins and all the waste product out of your blood and sending it down to the bladder and urine so you can then pee it all out and flush it all away. It needs water to do that. The more water you drink, the more that process works, the lower your creatinine levels go.